So you sat there with your tribe buddies and everything's all fine and dandy and then you realise you need to cross the island to get to the other side. But if you've got a big tribe then the Diplodocus is definitely the creature for you. When it's got its saddle equipped this guy turns into a mini boss with 11 seats including the driver. This will mean getting around the map with your tribe easy peasy and you don't always have to take different dinos. You can just jump on this bad boy and there you go. Stick some ammo in him and there you go. You can defend him from all sides so sit back, relax, and let's go tame ourselves a Diplodocus. So today we're going for the Diplodocus, or as I like to say, the mini boss. Now, first things first, the saddle. I do believe I actually have um, some Diplodocus saddles. There we go. We've got, we've got two. So I'm going to take the highest level one, a nice ascendant one, very easily found in cave loot or just in airdrops, the red airdrops as well. But if you don't have it like me, you've not found one yet. 32 is the level you need to be and for this all you're going to need is 600 fiber 850 hide 200 metal ingots and 250 wood now with them being big creatures we're going to take some weaponries with us today and we're going to take i am going to take my long neck rifle there it is i want my long neck because it will deal the most torpidity damage and i am going to take with me a shotgun just to back myself up with now when it comes to the taming food guys we're going to go and take regular kibble with us today i'm going to take a stack of three because that should hopefully do now if you don't have regular kibble made you're going to need one medium egg one cooked meat jerky two long grass two save roots five fiber and water now diplodocus location is quite a lot of places on the map but they're not guaranteed so the best thing to do guys is just fly everywhere and anywhere or run anywhere and everywhere and try and find them just don't be looking at the mountain areas or the snow biomes Okay, here we are. We found two, and I'm just here on the map. I know you're probably thinking, why have I come all this way? There is a load of Diplodocuses that I probably passed on the way, but because they're so easy to find, I wanted to go somewhere where I've not really tamed before. I've never really tamed around here, so this looks pretty good. Now, the good thing about Diplodocuses is they are a knockout tame and a passive tame, so if you knock them down, you can still tame them that way, but you obviously you would have uh, had to have brought narcotics. I haven't. But in this case, we're going to go passive. And now what I'm going to do, place in my good old regular kibble at the last slot of my inventory. Crawl over underneath him and feed. There we go. Nice and easy. And that should be it. That is literally it. That's how you tame a Diplodocus. Now I want him to go over there. Because what I'm going to do now, I'm going to trank this one. I'm not going to keep this one because uh, obviously I've just got a female. If this was a male, I'd be like, yeah, I'm keeping this. But just for your guys' purposes, ah, let's tame another one. I think that's a female anyway, one I've tamed. So headshots are greatly appreciated with these guys. Ah. And they're very slow moving as well. So it's like you're not really in any danger. You can just keep moving back and letting them come towards you. Also, their attack does a zero damage. Yeah, there we go. So we knocked this girl out. I would have used. I would have. Uh, I would have actually tamed a male if he was around here. But oh no, it's an iguanodon. Anyway, <laughs> we can place in the kibble there, and there you can see we're already taming this gal so she will be tamed soon let me just go double check that this is a female before i just let this female go i believe it is this is a female oh it's a male never mind boom oh no boom there we go he's got his saddle on so there we go we've got a we've got a male and a female and he's, he's leveled up damage cannot be uh be increased i didn't know that until just not that it matters because these guys do zero damage so now, because we've got the female and the male, I almost let this female, like, I was always going to kill her. 
and then I realized that that's, well, we found out that that's a male, and obviously I want a male and a female, because then I can breed them, but yeah, we're going to wait and see how well this girl takes to get up, we're going to see how good her torpidity is, by the looks of this, the torpidity is very, very slow, I think if you bought like a couple of narcotics, you should be okay. But then again, I don't know how long it's going to take for her to feed. It looks like she's going to be uh, feeding hopefully soon. So guys, I've had to bring my Diplodocus just out a bit more in the open so we can actually see what's going on. Uh, the mountain areas and the bushy areas are not good for videos like this where you're trying to show and demonstrate and as you can see your leaves so the first thing is the speed now as you can see they're not that fast when walking but surprisingly they are a little bit more faster than i was expecting when sprinting now these aren't going to win a race against most creatures but they are rather fast and even trees just get crumbled as well it's cool and you know what guys i'm very shocked because the turn radius isn't even too bad with these guys but you do get stuck on big rocks though and trees but you will knock them down okay so we've seen that speed but as well the stamina is pretty decent as well that doesn't really go down as quick as i thought it would be especially because i was considering how surprisingly fast it is when sprinting now the diplodocus has one attack it's just a push it deals zero damage and it does that little damage that creatures do not even acknowledge it as an attack. They don't even run. So you can push things about with no consequence whatsoever. Now, when you're on the Diplodocus, you can't actually withdraw any weapons or anything like that. So you're probably thinking, this isn't really being anything that it's made out to be. But the good thing is, if we get off our good old Diplodocus, you can see we have an extra 10 seeds. So we can sit five members of our tribe each side of the diplodocus plus the driver so what we need to do is open up the good old dinos menu and i'm trying to get it where you can see it there we go so as you can see it says e to ride so if we hold e now we go on to passenger seat you can see look we can sit in any of these seats and from here we are then able to aim forward shoot and we can shoot from either side and stuff, but we do have to get out to change seats. So if we want to go on the right, oh, we are on the right, sorry. If we want to go on the left, I meant to do. I swear I do know my left and right. So there we go. You can see we're here and we're fine. We can shoot. We can also whistle command as regular. Well, to be fair, you can face forward. The only thing is, if you want to go right, you'll have to board right and then, you know, whistle over there. Go on, go over there. And yeah, this is basically a bus for you and your tribe mates. Now the one thing the Diplodocus can do, and it very, very well, is collecting berries, wood, and thatch. Now just one hit, you can see, look at that, we're taking everything, three hits, and we've collected all this. As you can see, more thatch than wood, but still great for the wood and berries it is great for collecting berries now the good thing is as well is the weight these guys are pretty weighty i keep boosting this guys because that's the main thing you're going to want to do with this guy he's going to be your transporter he's going to be your mini bus for your team so weight is very important in these guys but when it comes to collecting these guys are very very good now another excellent thing about the diplodocus is the health They've got good health, but they are tanks. Let me just increase that health, why not? They are tanks, and they can literally take a beating. I'm taking shots off a Baryonyx, or was taking a shot off the Baryonyx, and also Piranhas. Now, one good thing about the Diplodocus, though, is that nothing will attack you on it. Nothing wants to attack you. The Baryonyx won't attack the Diplodocus, and even if you want them to attack you, Where's my, uh, where's the Baryonyx there, should I say? If we want the Baryonyx to attack us, look, we can push it around and it still won't attack us. So it is a gift and it's also a curse because you don't need to worry about enemies when you're on it. So guys, that has been it for me and my Diplodocus. 
the absolute beast when it comes to in a trap. It's definitely a must have for a tribe, just for literally being able to carry all of you, well, practically all of you, to and from wherever. And you don't even have to worry about creatures, and even if you want to, they won't even attack you. So that has been it for me and my Diplodocus. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot, guys. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next episode.